question tonight is, do you see the gun in this woman's hand? She's facing three charges now after prosecutor's office says that she pointed it towards two Kansas City, Missouri police officers. This picture came out today after a video of the aftermath of that shooting went viral. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax. The encounter with police started after that woman, 26 year old Leona Hale and a man allegedly held somebody at gunpoint in a carjacking in KCK. Fox Force Malik Jackson's been following the case and joins us now live from the Jackson County Courthouse. Malik, these developments shocked some of her supporters. They are shocking them, Lauren and Kevin, because up until this point, the story is that this woman was unarmed. But a new photo released today by the prosecutor's office is shows the exact opposite. And now Leona Hell is facing two felony charges as she recovers in a local hospital. These court documents show a differing account than what many believed to be the case. The Jackson County Prosecutor's Office alleges not only did Hale point her gun at officers, she was, quote, tracking officers as she continues south through the grassed area with that same gun. Body cam footage from a separate angle, according to the allegations in these newly released documents, say Hale had a firearm in her right hand pointed in the direction of the officers as she's running away from them. Despite this new information, I come Community is hurt. We are hurting. We are traumatized. We are tired of feeling like our deaths don't matter. Our pain don't matter. Our tears don't matter. Our struggles don't matter. They do. They do. Many in support of the 26 year old still found themselves backing her. They're gunning down people who aren't threats down in the street. And until we were able to show them exactly what police and prosecutors say happened. I see. How come the uh, the person yesterday said she didn't have a gun? A claim that was never backed by evidence and prosecutors say helped fuel false narratives around the case. However, they say this isn't enough. If I want to see the body cam footage right now. Hell remains in the hospital due to her wounds and it is not clear when she will be released. The male suspect who ran away from police at the time Hell was getting out of the vehicle is in custody. Some say she was pregnant, something Fox 4 is still working to verify. Now, the two felony charges that Hell faces are felony unlawful firearm possession and felony use of a weapon. For more information on this story and a full account of what the prosecutors have charged in this document, you can go to fox4kc.com. Lauren. Malik Jackson live at the Jackson County Courthouse. Now, after the charges were announced, Mayor Quentin Lucas tweeted that he appreciates the positive addition body cameras have been in public safety investigations. Mayor Lucas goes on to say he appreciates the prosecutor today sharing facts and an image that clarifies the public narrative concerning last Friday's shooting.